Hey guys, happy Sunday. We are finally here on the weekend, which is a rarity, but here we are. So for today, we are working on another family home. This is for my save file with four other wonderful simmers. Highly recommend you go and check them all out. They are linked on my Instagram posts about the save file. Um, not all of them have YouTube channels, so go and check it out over on my Instagram if you would like to support them as well. I'd highly appreciate it. And yeah, so for today we're working on this kind of like rustic, sort of modern, but not really. It's more rustic, kind of like, I don't really know, um, Scandinavian is possibly the word. I think that it's stunning. Um, I was following a real house for this particular build and the levels on this particular building were a bit off to begin with, but we fixed it in the end. Um, it was a bit of a, a different build than my usual, but that's why I wanted to attempt something a bit more challenging for today. So I do hope you guys like it. Um, the really annoying thing that I find about builds in The Sims is that, see the part that's like above the opening of where the entrance is gonna be? You can't delete that section of the roof so that it's just like the roof part without the wall in the way, if that makes sense. It's really hard to explain without showing you or pointing at it, but I just, I really wish we could just have an open roof space without the like the white wall in the way, you know, like the drywall part. Hopefully that makes sense, but in the image that I was following, it was just an open space and it kind of made it look a bit strange, um, in my opinion. You guys might not notice and I've just highlighted it, but I'm sure you guys feel like that as well with certain builds, especially if you are a builder yourself, then it's just, it's kind of annoying. Um, but you know, we get there, it's fine. Um, I did have some glitches with the floor and the walls not appearing as a room, but we got there eventually, but you know, we do run into a couple of struggles here and there, but I think it's important to just keep going and just do your best to try and um, fix all of the problems, um, and it is what it is, and it's okay if things go wrong because sometimes you do have technical glitches and that just is part of the game. Um, but there we are. So we kind of have like most of the bases down of the build currently. Um, obviously I haven't included any entrances yet or um, any windows, but we are starting on the landscaping and I do the windows off camera because it does take me quite a while to get it to a point that I'm happy with it. Um, but yeah, we use quite a lot of the greenhouse kit. We used um, growing together and that's pretty much it I think for the windows. A base game for the garage and the back door and the other stuff is um, it's either the greenhouse kit or it possibly could be eco lifestyle for the windows and the greenhouse kit is a bit of a combo of both and the front window on the little bumper with the stone by here is from growing together so that's the windows for you and yeah I just think it's a really nice build I do end up changing the color scheme from white to a beige color because it just looked a bit more 3d that way or 2d I don't know I don't know what the right term is for it um, but less flat shall we say um, and yeah so at the floor plan I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with and we do have this kind of like awkward back room of this house so I did turn it into a like little library we've got some artwork in there as well it's just kind of like a craft room um I did also include an office upstairs because we do have three children so this building is for um two parents a teenage daughter a child son and an infant son um I think that the family dynamic is really nice in this place I kind of feel like um the the dad is possibly like a very rich, um, a very rich um, businessman, that's the word. And the mum is really into her like fitness and she's, you know, living her best life. And she's got her own, um, maybe she's got her own gym that she runs herself for other simmers to go to. Maybe Bob and Eliza go there. I don't know. I just kind of feel like she's one of those people that's kind of like really focused on how she looks and she just wants to eat healthy and this is her modern kitchen um that was sort of the vibe behind this family while i was making the build um i personally love doing that i love creating a backstory because it makes it way more fun to create builds with some sort of family in mind i think when you start building and you don't really have much of a story in your head then it's kind of difficult to to fit the um like the interior or the, even the exterior to be honest but more so the interior to a particular family because obviously you haven't got one in mind yet so that's what I highly recommend if you are new to building or even if you're not um if you don't already do it then I highly recommend creating some sort of dynamic in your head how the family run or their type of personality or their um like 
social interactions are they in a relationship are they single do they have children just all of the backstory sort of things um i just really like it so i do hope you guys like it as well um i did film all of the downstairs as one big video usually i do in sections so that's easier for me but i think the only thing i did separately was the bathroom but again it could be wrong um i'm not too sure but i did film it all in one go <laughs> so i was kind of just on a roll i haven't edited this at all so it is just me building as i go along um i thought it was a bit silly to kind of like cut parts out because it was kind of just very much open plan so we did most of it just all in one go um i don't think anything messed up which is a first i wasn't really sure what i wanted to do for this big open space because i wanted it to stay modern but i also want it to feel very cozy and i think that's kind of a hard battle to make happen sometimes because when you make things look too modern then it kind of loses its coziness um and the other way around as well i think when you make it look too cozy it loses that like you know modern chic vibe to it so i try to balance that out as best i could but i don't know i think it looks more modern than it does cozy but it's fine um and yeah i do love how this lounge turned out though i think it's absolutely gorgeous this rug just fit perfectly i don't know whether you guys agree but i just think it suits this room perfectly um, I know that when you guys watch my builds you much prefer apartments but like i said we are changing up very slightly ever so slightly we're still having our weekly apartments um on weekdays but then when it comes to the weekends i am going to be uploading some different builds because i really want to venture out on my building abilities and i think staying stagnant doing only apartments is not going to benefit me as a creator i think that it is something that i will always do it's always something that i'm going to be creating for you guys but i think it is very useful to show you a variety of things you can create because if we're only ever doing interior for already existing like wall spaces in apartments and it's not very creative in the long run um i think the thing that taught me how to build best was doing family homes and i hope that when you watch my videos you don't just make apartments if it is something that inspires you i hope that my actual homes inspire you to build because it's definitely something that i love um everyone's different and everybody enjoys a different part of the game but personally i think that doing these type of builds is my absolute favorite um this was a little bit out of my comfort zone <laughs> it's a lot more modern than what i'm used to but i really like how it turned out and i think that it's important to venture out in different styles that you're not always used to because you never know you might be really good at it and you learn something new so it's important to trial and error different build styles is what i'm trying to say so anyway now we're working on that kind of awkward room that i was talking about before i don't dislike it but it's quite empty um i wasn't really sure what i wanted to put in here but i knew i wanted some sort of like communal space for the family to hang out and maybe uh, study and um it's kind of like a room that's off all of the other rooms it's not far away from the kitchen or the lounge or the dining area but it's kind of just a bit off from the other rooms just so they can have a bit of concentration in that room um, and I like how it turned out there's not much going on in there to be honest so there's not much to say about it but that is what it is and that's okay um, so yeah so now I'm moving on to the other bathroom there's two bathrooms downstairs and this particular bathroom is connected to the garage I think that it's a really fun idea to have a bathroom attached to the garage maybe you've like come in from working out or something you don't want to walk through the house or you've been out like working in the mud or something um, and it's like a, a walk-in washroom, I suppose. Um, it's very modern though, look how gorgeous the shower is. <laughs> but I think it's just gorgeous. But anyway, that is all for downstairs. And then we'll move on to upstairs. Now, like I said, we do have a teenage daughter, we have a child son, and we do have, um, I want to say toddler. We don't have a toddler, we have an infant little boy. And I just really like this place. It's just adorable. Um, I think this room turned out really nice. It's quite a, well, I say that it's not that small, but it just felt quite small because I had so many big items that I wanted to fit in. But I think it turned out really nice in the end. And I probably like the sun's room the best. I just think it's this like really cute sort of color scheme and the layout is really cute. And yeah, I do like the teenage girls room though. Um, and this wallpaper swatch, I just, I love. I can't remember what pack it's from. Um, I think it's deco to the max but i could be wrong um but yeah i just think it turned out really nice and the color scheme is really nice for this room and i managed to fit in all i wanted to so that's always 
a big positive and yeah so that's pretty much all there is to say about this room in particular but I think it fits a teenage girl perfectly so hope you guys agree and then we're moving on to the son's room so now we're moving on to the son's bedroom now this bedroom is probably my favorite of this entire building I think that it turned out really well I think the color swatch of this particular bed is just gorgeous it's from Island Living if you do want to know where it's from and I just love mint green I always have my prom dress was mint green when I was a teenager and it's just it's a color that I've always really liked um, I definitely don't wear it <laughs> much anymore but I still really enjoy the color and I just think this room is really cute it kind of it's like the perfect kids room it feels very childlike but not childish um, I think that it's a really nice combination of like young sim child but also a little bit grown up so maybe i kind of imagine that he was around nine or ten years old so there's some there's still some stuff that is very kid like but then also he's grown up a little bit so he's got like a, a gaming computer and you know a fancy mirror um i don't know why a mirror proves that you're aging but you know there we are so now we're moving on to the little infant's room now this room is adorable of course it is it's a little boy's room um it's very blue but like a really pale like still blue and I just think that it turned out really nice um, I think that it's really nice that it's in the front of the house it's very spacious it's very open and it's got a lot of windows and I just think it would be the perfect little room for a nursery in real life I just can imagine like how open and spacious it would feel and just really breezy I suppose um, but I definitely love that this particular house is very Scandinavian style um, it kind of gave me that vibe and I think this room really shows that off, like with the wicker and the white and um, just a lot of wooden tones and the cute little baskets. I just, I kind of feel like it's very bohemian, Scandinavian sort of style, which I really love. So I definitely really like this particular bedroom. Um, and yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this particular room. I didn't want to clutter it too much, but I just think it turned out really sweet with everything that we had in here already. And I just really like it. So yes, then we move on to the bathroom. Now this bathroom is next to the little baby's room and it's kind of similar to downstairs we do have a walk-in shower room which i think is quite nice um i don't often do showers like this i just kind of use the um the bath and the shower combination that came with growing together and that works perfectly fine but i felt like this particular house kind of needed something a bit more fancy so that's what we did and like I said, this is for our safe file that we're working on, myself and four other simmers. So it is available on the gallery. If you do want to download it, it is under the hashtag, hashtag generations with an S save file. Um, obviously you can access it on my own gallery as well at Laura Abbey X, but if you do want to check out the other build on the hashtag, that is where you can find it, which is always exciting. And I think I'm really excited to do this particular project with my Simmer friends because they are people who I really respect and they are lovely girls, women, I should say, they're not girls, but you know what I mean. Um, they're very lovely people and they have helped me through a lot and I'm just really excited to have a fun project with them and we are moving on to Oasis Springs on Monday so I'll have some more fancy builds coming soon um, we've got some villas that we're going to be making um, we're going through every single world I apologize for that loud bike outside my goodness um, we're going through every single world and we are creating um, new builds for every single lot um, all five of us um, we're splitting it up between us of course and we're doing casts as well so that's exciting and yeah so it's going to be a lot of fun and i'm really excited to show you guys world one i'll probably post a picture of it i won't upload the actual file but you can access the individual builds on my gallery and on that hashtag um but yeah once we have completed every single world which is going to take a bit of time of course but it's still a fun project to have in the works and it's something that's fun to do with my friends and i think that because i always do sims content for like work purposes it's not really playing the game anymore um so i think it's quite nice to have a bit of a chill time of course i'm still filming it but it definitely feels a bit more relaxed and it's not so I wouldn't say forced, that's the wrong word, because I don't have to do what I do. I'm fortunate that I get to do what I do. And I adore building um, more than anything in the world, but I kind of feel like sometimes I definitely see building more as work rather than um, like a relaxing thing. And I want to make sure that it's perfect. And I think sometimes it's nice just to feel a bit more free and less pressurized to make it look a certain way. Um, 
it might just be me, it might be a me thing. Like I say, I'm a very anxious being and I want everything that to be just so and sometimes it isn't. Sometimes it doesn't turn out how I want it to and it makes me stressed and that's okay. It doesn't have to always be perfect but I think it is fun to kind of just roll with it and do something a little bit different and working with other people as well is something that I don't normally do with my builds so it's nice to have something um, exciting to do together. So yes, moving back on to the build. Now I'm just showing you how awful this first pool design went. Um, it did take me a few attempts, <laughs> not gonna lie, but we got there in the end. Um, it's kind of an awkward shape but I think it turned out nice. It's just a bit weird but it's fine. Um, yeah, it was not having it at first but we got there in the end. I just couldn't work out the corners, so I just left it in the end. <laughs> but it was fine. I um, put in these little fountains and it just looks adorable. So I will be posting some screenshots of the finished product as well because I did have a couple of people a while ago say, oh, you never post pictures at the end. Now, I used to, but I kind of felt like it got a bit pointless because I was posting them on my Instagram as well. So I just say to those people, go and check out on my Instagram. I post all of my builds over on my Insta. Um, and yeah, I just don't post pictures at the end of my builds anymore. It's just not something I do anymore. I used to, but it's just not something that's relevant anymore. Um, but yeah, so I am going to end the voiceover by here for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this bonus content. I'll be back tomorrow on Monday for another speed build. And I think we're going to um, make some sort of like lover's apartment. That's kind of what I'm thinking um, in preparation for the new expansion. So that'll be exciting. It seems very sultry, shall we say. So that'll be interesting to see what's in that pack, which is coming out on the 25th of July, if you haven't seen it. Um, I can't even remember what the pack's called, not gonna lie. Um, lover or something, or love, I don't know. I can't remember, <laughs> something about love. Um, but I'm really excited for it. And the um, online dating is coming with, and um, just different forms of like relationships and different dynamics, it's just gonna be a lot of fun. So I'll probably do something about that on Monday. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have the most wonderful weekend. I hope you're having a chill Sunday. I hope you've had a nice um, relaxing time on Sims at some point this weekend. And I shall catch you guys tomorrow for another speed build. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Don't forget to check out my links in my description for my giveaway with Instant Gaming and my affiliate link to access discounted games as well. I really, really appreciate you guys. I wish you this wonderful evening and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Bye guys.